Hello and welcome back to my fantasy prediction season. My name is Alex does F1 stuff and this is round three in China. Well aware that China isn't the next Grand Prix in the 2020 season, but I'm just following the 2019 season as a whole and putting what I think the 2020 car times would have been to the 2019 season. I have made a small separate video for this series about all the maths and all of the assumptions that I've made to get the results for each episode to fill in all of my tables. That's so I don't clog up this video with a repeat of what I said last time, so it's a little bit shorter, a bit more concise, and a bit more to the point. I'll leave a little card thingy in the corner as well as I'll link it in the description down below. First things first though, I'd like to start by saying I made a mistake in the last episode in Bahrain. <gasps> I know, how could I? Anyways, yes, the table that I used was this one here, and that is wrong. Red Bull should have gained an extra eight points courtesy of Gasly's P6 finish. Sorry, Gasly, I didn't add you in. Uh, didn't make too big of a difference in the constructors as Red Bull did stay third. Uh, behind Ferrari and in front of Haas, it's just they gained a little bit extra points on Ferrari. With that little mistake out of the way, let's get into practice for the Chinese Grand Prix. So Verstappen flies to the top, almost seven tenths clear of Bottas in the Mercedes, both gaining three places on last year. Hamilton and Leclerc are the only drivers to be within a second of Verstappen. Vettel is two tenths of his teammate and four places down on last year. Ricardo stays put in sixth, sixth with the two racing points behind in 7th and 8th, with Perez coming forward 10 places. Gasly is 9th, followed very closely by Kvyat 8 thousandths off. The next five cars are covered by just over two tenths, with Grosjean heading Ocon, Magnussen, Sainz and Raikkonen in the Alfa Romeo. Norris and Albon both lose three places from last year in 16th and 17th, with the two Williams in 18th and 19th, and Giovinazzi last, failing to set a time. Practice 2 is again headed by Verstappen, only a tenth in front of Bottas this time though, with Ricardo now third for Renault, a whopping 1.2 seconds off the Red Bull's pace. Vettel, Perez and Ocon are all one tenth away from each other, with Sainz and Hamilton down in P8, within a tenth of Ocon. Leclerc slips to ninth from fourth in practice 1, with Gasly in tenth, the same as last year. Stroll and Raikkonen are both close to Gasly, within half a tenth, with Kvyat in thirteenth, two tenths back. Norris loses six places from last year uh, in 14th with Magnussen, Albon and Russell behind uh, who gains three places for Williams. Giovinazzi still having trouble down in 19th and Latifi rounds the table off in 20th. Practice three now, Bottas takes his turn up front, a mammoth 1.1 seconds clear from Leclerc in P2 with Verstappen now third. Vettel and Hamilton are behind him, Ocon is now best of the rest in 6th with Raikkonen in 7th and Perez close behind in 8th. Sainz and Ricardo round off the top 10, Stroll in P12 is sandwiched between the two Alfa Tori cars with Russell behind them in 14th gaining 5 places on last year. Gasly is slipping back in the field only 1000th behind Norris in the McLaren for 15th, Giovinazzi has the two Haas cars behind him and once again Latifi rounds off the grid. Taking a look at qualifying now, it's looking good for Bottas, but Verstappen could still have some pace in hand, and the Ferraris aren't too far behind either. It's going to be a very interesting qualifying. So Q1 sees Bottas finish P1 ahead of Verstappen and Leclerc. Ricardo is fourth with Perez and Hamilton one tenth back. Ocon makes it safely through, as does Grosjean, Kvyat and Gasly. Vettel is down in 11th, but makes it through with Stroll, Raikkonen and Magnussen all close behind him. Russell just squeezes into Q2 for the first time this season, a big sigh of, sigh of relief for Williams there, but Norris is the first out, followed by Latifi, Sainz in the other McLaren, and then Giovinazzi and Albon both fail to set a time and are out of Q1. Bottas again leads Q2, two tenths clear from Verstappen with Hamilton and Leclerc behind. Perez makes it through to Q3 for the third time in a row. Uh, the two Renaults also make it through for the second time, with Vettel splitting the pair in seventh. Gasly had a good turn of pace from practice to get into Q3 as Grosjean just makes the cutoff point, six hundredths clear of his teammate who falls out in Q2. Kvyat, Raikkonen, Stroll and Russell all fail to make it further into qualifying. Now it's time for the pole position shootout. Can anyone knock Bottas off a pole for the first time this season? No, they can't. Verstappen is a tenth off in second, making it onto the front row with Hamilton in third. 
the two Ferraris are fourth and fifth with Leclerc outqualifying his teammate for the third time. Ricardo is seventh with Perez and Ocon behind, and Gasly makes it to P9 with Grosjean two tenths back in tenth. Taking a look at the starting grid now, Bottas stays put on pole, Verstappen comes forward three places from last year, and Hamilton loses one. Leclerc stays in fourth with Vettel losing two, Ricardo moves forward one and Perez five. Ocon stays eighth and Gasly loses three places in ninth. Uh, Grosjean also stays put and Magnussen loses two. Moving further down the grid, Stroll and Russell all move forward two places from last year with Norris uh, losing one and Latifi behind gaining one. Sainz loses out four and Giovinazzi and Albon both stay put at the back of the grid. Race day in China. Last year this was home to the thousandth Formula One race. Now, in my fantasy prediction season, it's the 1021st race. However, that doesn't really apply anymore because Corona's happened. Woo, yay! So it's one apiece between Ferrari and Mercedes at the moment. Let's get into the race to see who gets out on top. So Vettel takes his first win of the season from Gasly in P2, coming forward four places from last year and seven from his grid slot. Hamilton completes the podium, the first for him this year, 41 seconds back from Vettel. Verstappen is 4th, finishing a strong race for Red Bull with Leclerc in 5th. Sainz storms to... Blah, blah, blah. Sainz storms from 18th on the grid to finish 6th, ahead of Kvyat, Perez, Ocon and Grosjean, who rounds off the points-paying positions. Norris just misses out in 11th, 1 second off of Grosjean, with Giovinazzi in 12th, finishing 3 places higher than last year. Albon is next in 13th, followed by the two Williams cars, who are both lapped twice, and the last of the race finishes. So the retirements for this race, Bottas in the Mercedes, Magnussen in the Haas, Ricardo in the Renault, and Raikkonen in the Alfa Romeo, they were the randomly chosen drivers. Even though Bottas failed to finish, he still managed to claim the fastest lap of the race, but he will not get the bonus point though, as he failed to finish inside the top 10. So let's take a look at what that's done to the championship as we move to the driver's gains. Uh, Vettel takes home 25 points with Gasly scoring 18 with his first podium in Formula 1. Hamilton finally bags some good points with 15. Uh, moving further down the grid, Perez, Ocon and Sainz all score for the first time this season. All this means a lot of shuffling about. No one stays where they were. There are leader changes as Leclerc now tops the field and all the way down to the Williams pair who are yet to score. The difference is now after China, Leclerc moves to the top, three points clear of Verstappen, who's seven points clear from Bottas. Vettel, Gasly and Hamilton all move in front of Stroll, who is nine points back from Lewis. Magnussen and Albon share 12 points, two points clear from Giovinazzi, with the two McLarens sharing eight, a single point clear from Kvyat. Grosjean, Raikkonen, Perez and the two Renaults round off the point scorers. Having a look at the constructors now, Ferrari gain big with 35 points, Red Bull score 30 and Mercedes only 15. They've only had one double points finish so far this year. Moving down the field, Alfa Tori scored 6, Racing Point 4, McLaren 8 and Renault 2. So like with the drivers, there was a lot of shuffling about as only Renault and Williams stay put at the bottom of the grid. So Ferrari take the lead in the constructors now, 8 points clear from Red Bull and 20 points clear from de defending champions Mercedes who are now 3rd. Alfa Tori are a long way back in 4th, but they have Haas, McLaren, Racing Point and Alfa Romeo all within 5 points of them for the battle for best of the rest. Renault are 10 points behind Alfa Romeo, but 2 points clear from the bottom. And there we have it, another round of my fantasy prediction season. Hope you all enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next round for Baku ahead of the next Grand Prix weekend. See you soon.